Hopefully I can do this without getting bit. This guy is aggressive. Do you know just how small of a hole it takes for a rat like this to get inside your house? Well in this video we're going to find out. We're going to set up a side by side test to see what these rats can squeeze through. These are non-native invasive rats, they're wild ones that I caught. They're also known as city rats or sewer rats. They're so destructive, they chew on things, they carry disease, and the best way to keep them out is to plug all the entryways. So I'm gonna go to the workshop, cut some wood, and start building a rat hole test. So here's all the pieces I cut to make our rat test. It's gonna be a wooden box with a back, two sides. There's gonna be five different dividers. It's gonna have a clear front and a clear top so we can see what's going on. So I'll screw this together and show you how it works. So here's our box with five different test slots. It also fits a clear front. We'll slide that in. To start this test, I'm gonna drill five different size holes. A two inch, one and five eighths, one and a half, one and three eighths, and one and a quarter. I have a bit set here, so we'll take the front out and start drilling. So we have our five holes drilled. I'm gonna peel off this plastic. So this will be a good starting point to see just how small of a hole a rat can fit in. I'm gonna go ahead and label these to keep them straight. We have our two inch, one and five eighths, one and a half, one and three eighths, and one and a quarter. Now this is just a starting point. We're gonna run some tests. If I need to go smaller, I will. Now obviously different age rats will fit in different size holes. The young rats much smaller, and the big huge rats not so much. We'll start with my pet rat. He's pretty fat, but he has no problem going through a two inch hole. Now we'll try one and five eighths. Oh, he's much more reluctant. He's trying, but it's a pretty tight fit. So a full grown rat has no problem with the two inch, but one and five eighths is kind of tight, but I think a wild rat could. Now, obviously the age of the rat's gonna matter quite a bit. Here's a fairly newborn rat, and it would have no problem going through one and a quarter inch hole. So a full size rat's gonna be very different than a young rat. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens out in the barn where wild rats try to get the bait inside our test box. Now in my experience, sunflower seeds are usually a good bait to draw on rats and mice. So we'll go ahead and fill up each chamber. And then set up our test. Well, after reviewing the motion camera footage, it's clear that the rats in the barns vary in size. Everything from giant adult ones down to baby ones. The only hole the giant one squeezed in was the two inch hole. That's no problem for him, but they only stuck their head in the other ones and ate the seeds, but not their whole body. So I'm gonna change my test up. Instead of enticing them in, I'm gonna make them climb out. So I'm gonna live catch a few of these, place them in different size holes, and make them climb out or chew their way out. So what I'm gonna do is set up several of these live catch traps. You place bait in the back, they step on a pedal, the door closes. Then we're gonna use them for a test. Well, as you saw in the intro of the video, here's the two rats we caught. They're both adults and they're very wild and aggressive. They're perfect to test out just how tight of a hole a rat can squeeze through. So I'm gonna attempt to take them out of the cage and put them in their box, starting with the smallest hole and working the way up until they get out. This rat is not very happy. It's making a terrible noise. I'm gonna put on some gloves. I'm gonna to try to get them in this plastic tube and then move it into our trap box. Hopefully I can just place this plastic tube over it without it getting out. Okay, now the hard part. I'm gonna to try to get the rat inside this chamber and close it without it getting out. Then the only way out is this one and a quarter inch hole.
Well, it's been about 15 minutes and so far the rat hasn't been able to get outside the hole. So we're gonna move it over one more chamber and see if that's larger and it can get out. So immediately it found the hole, it stuck its head out, but so far it can't squeeze through. Well again, we gave the rat quite a bit of time and it hasn't squeezed out. So we'll move it over to one and a half. Well again, we gave it 10 minutes and it's still in there. We're gonna move it over to one and five eighths. Now while we wait, I'm gonna move the other rat into the one and a half inch, it's slightly smaller. We'll see if it escapes, we can watch them side by side. Well, that was a close one. This rat is slightly smaller and it squeezed halfway out, but it didn't escape. Now what I'm gonna do is set up the motion cameras and place these back in the barn where I caught them. I'm gonna see if they can chew on the plastic just large enough to squeeze out. Then we'll know exactly how small of a hole the rats can fit. Now, as I set up the test, it was pretty much a disaster. This is pitch black. The camera's working with infrared and I'm trying to set up the cameras with the light of my flip phone. I can't see anything, it's so dark. I drop my phone and the rat actually squeezes out, but I don't know it's doing that. It is right in front of me and it's completely free and I don't know it, it runs right by my leg right there and I had no idea. I take a look with the phone and he's gone. I'm wondering what happened. Here's a top view. You can see the rat squeeze out, doesn't know what to do. It's completely dark and it walks right by my leg. And as I check the trail camera, the other rat squeezes out when it's not turned on. So both rats escape and I have to reset this test so I need to catch another rat and I set up our live trap again. I set up two of them, but after I left, one of them misfired and closed. So when the rats came, there was only one set trap. So here's the latest rat we caught. Unfortunately, we only got one, but we're gonna move it to the smallest hole, one and a quarter and see if it climbs out. We definitely know they can climb in two inch, one and five eighths and one and a half. So I'm really curious if it can squeeze through the one and a quarter or chew its way out with the plastic. So I'm gonna place it in there and see what happens. Hopefully I can do this without getting bit. This guy is aggressive. Well, we left our test overnight and the rat is still in there. It's pretty fogged up and he wants to get out. He chewed on the edge for a little bit, but he did not escape. So one and a quarter is too small for an adult rat to get out. I'm gonna move it over to one and three eighths and see if he can climb out of that. Well, we know for sure that this adult rat cannot squeeze out of a one and three eighths inch hole. It got half its body, but not its backside. It sure tried all night long, but it's still in there. I'm gonna move it over to one and a half. I've already had a rat escape from this. We'll see if we can get it on camera. So I'm gonna move our rat. It didn't get out of the one and a quarter or one and three eighths, but for sure, I know it can get out of a one and a half. Well, I knew that would happen. Our adult rat was not able to squeeze out of a one and three eighths inch hole, but it was able to squeeze out of one and a half inches. So somewhere in between these two is the minimum size a rat can fit through and even smaller holes for young rats. I love testing these out. It really helps me to know just how to deal with rodent problems. 
If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over a thousand videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best ways of dealing with rats, mice, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.